All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's Strength and Power. So I've got a couple interesting stories for you guys today. The first story that I have for you guys today is about Robbie Robinson, the legendary golden era bodybuilder. Um, and a post that he put up today that a lot of people have been tagging me in and sending to me, um, asking to give my thoughts on. So Robbie put up this post, and here's what it says. To all my Instagram fans, I ask for support from my 71.2 thousand Instagram followers. It's a shame that people can make it dirty that I ask my followers for support. Then I get a message from someone else he has attacked. This is the same person that attacked six-time Mr. Olympia Dorian Yates. Training partner, yes, that's Jerry Ward. He is an asshole. And this is the message that I just received. I've always felt if I cannot do or say something good about you, then I say nothing. I understand Jerry Ward wants to make a name for himself, and the only way he do so is to badmouth me and Dorian. Shad, my friend, set up to go fund me. He controls what goes on. Mr. Ward should get the correct information down before going live on YouTube. Mr. Ward be Bally's contact me. And then he puts his phone number, I guess. Then he says, Mr. Ward's YouTube video is now in the hands of my attorney. Jerry Ward, I wish you all the success. Robbie Robinson. Now, this post is a little bit hard to read and kind of hard to understand. Keep in mind, Robbie Robinson is in his 70s using Instagram, so just take that with a grain of salt. But here's what the situation essentially is. So a couple months ago, Robbie Robinson was hospitalized with sickle cell anemia. When he was hospitalized, he started a GoFundMe um, to help with the medical funds for that treatment. So the GoFundMe has been up for a couple months now. And Jerry Ward made a video about this GoFundMe in regards to the sickle cell anemia, hospitalization, medical bills, whatever, specifically referring to a post that Robbie Robinson put up in March about this GoFundMe for those medical bills. And this is what the post said that Jerry Ward was kind of replying to here. So Robbie Robinson has this caption on the photo. This photo was taken this past Monday after a 50 minute chest workout, then off to the hyperbaric chamber hospital for two hour sessions to help increase my red blood cell count and oxygen level slowly but surely positive things will happen. Problems are the cutting edge that distinguishes between success and failure. Problems create our courage and wisdom. Now this next part of the caption is specifically what Jerry Ward was talking about in his video where Robbie says, if every one of my 71.1 thousand followers have not donated $1 each to his GoFundMe, I am disappointed. This is the time that I cancel my Facebook and my Instagram pages. I thought we were a team. You guys have a great day, Robbie Robinson. So to clarify, in this post, asking $1 from each follower would be $71,000 to the GoFundMe. And he says if he doesn't get that, he's going to delete his Facebook and Instagram. And this is what Jerry Ward was responding to here. So I'm not sure if Robbie just didn't know the math behind $1 per 71000 because... The original GoFundMe was set up with a goal of $7,000. Jerry Ward said that in his video, and he was right about that. The original GoFundMe, it said the medical bills and the goal was $7,000. So maybe it's possible that Robbie just didn't know the math and was thinking $1 per follower would equal $7,000. So Jerry Ward was right about that in his video. It's kind of weird that Robbie would be asking for $71,000 if the, the original goal was $7,000. And then it's kind of even more weird that the goal was adjusted. So if you look at the GoFundMe now, the goal is $25,000 and they've raised $20,000 of that goal. So Jerry was right about that in his video. The original goal was $7,000. It increased to $25,000 and possibly increased to asking for $70,000 or he's going to delete his social media. Now, I don't know what Robbie's medical bills actually are, so I can't say how much money he actually needs but I would imagine he probably doesn't need $70,000 to pay for those medical bills. If the original goal was 7,000 to multiply that by 10 seems like a bit of a stretch. And then also to say he's going to delete his social media if he does not receive that amount, that also seems like a bit of a stretch. So I do agree with Jerry on those two points, but I think the main point that Robbie Robinson had a problem with was in Jerry's video, Jerry does kind of go off on a tangent um, where he actually calls Robbie Robinson a scumbag at the end of the video. I think he calls him a dickhead at one point in the video too. So while a lot of what Jerry said was true, he did take a pretty aggressive approach um, towards confronting the situation with Robbie Robinson. I think that's probably why Robbie was so upset. 
Now, personally, I've never had any interaction with Robbie Robinson. I don't know anything about his personality, so I'm not going to sit here and call him a scumbag, and I'm not going to sit here and agree with those points that Jerry made about Robbie's character specifically. But I will agree with Jerry that it seems at least, at the very least, a bit odd that the goal increased from 7000 to twenty five to Robbie asking for $71,000. And again, to be fair, the original goal was $7,000, and they've already raised $20,000, so three times what the original goal was. So I don't really see any reason to be upset with the fans about raising three times what the original GoFundMe goal was, so I do agree with Jerry on that as well. But again, I am not calling Robbie a scumbag. I'm not calling him a scammer. I'm not calling him a dickhead. I'm just saying I agree with Jerry that I think it's a little bit odd that the goal increased that much. And as far as taking legal action against Jerry for just giving his opinion on the situation, well, I think you guys already know how I feel about that. But at the end of the day, I, I, don't, I really don't have anything negative to say about Robbie Robinson. I don't know the guy. Um, I do think he's a legend in bodybuilding. He had one of the greatest physiques of that era. So I have nothing but respect for the guy. I don't really have any reason to think otherwise. And I really hope you know, the goal of this GoFundMe is really just to pay for the medical bills. Maybe the medical bills increased and he needed more money. And hopefully that's the case. And hopefully he's not abusing the GoFundMe. I'm, I'm really hoping that that's not the case. So I'm going to go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt in this video. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.